Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be taking a look at, uh, firstly, my new vice uh, from, I believe, Central Forge uh, via eBay, and uh, the main attraction, the Schlage Everest uh, C123 Keyway. Um, sadly though, I'm not going to be using my vice uh, in picking this. Uh, I got it a couple of hours ago, I'm not very practiced with it, so... Uh, picking the Everest is actually easier uh, just in hand, so I'm going to be doing it that way today. Uh, this will definitely be in future videos. Uh, I really like it. I do want to get used to it and use it more because I know it will be able to help me. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to pop this out, unsuction that from my desk, and plop that back here, I guess. Don't want to mess that up though. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, uh, now that we have just our lock here, uh, do the standard unlocking. Uh, we're also going to be gutting this because filming requirements. Uh, and I really do like this lock. Um, obviously, it's blue belt. Um, so about, or maybe a little bit above my current skill level, and by the definition of multiple locking mechanisms, uh, this would be considered a high security lock, because you can see with the key, we've got the six pins here, and we've got this little row down here for the check pin, which you can see in the cylinder here this thing. Um, so that is, ooh, what the hell happened there? I don't know. Uh, so that is opposite um, all the regular pins, meaning it's effectively an extra step in picking it. Um, and speaking of picking it, uh, today we're going to be using something a little unconventional, at least for tension. Uh, so we do need to, we need access to uh, the bottom of the keyway here uh, to actually set the check pin. So we're going to be putting tension in the top of the keyway, but for whatever reason, um, using BOK wrenches seems to do better, for me at least. So we're going to stick it in like that, which, yeah, a little unconventional, but it seems to work for me. Um, and then for the check pin, we're going to be using my half diamond and for the regular pin stacks, uh, my steep hook, I would be using the high reach, but I broke it and I'm devastated, but I'm poor, so it might be a little while until I get another one, so I need to make do. Um, but yeah, let's get on with picking. So first off, as I said, got to set the check pin, and I think we've done that. Yes, we have. Excuse me. And now I know that the next pin in the sequence is pin one. I think that's set. And honestly, after that, raking it has seemed like my best option. Uh, did that reset? I think it may have. No, it didn't. Um, oh, and yeah, there we go. So that is an open Schlage Everest. And I'm actually going to close that back up and put the key in for gutting uh, because the check pin sort of goes around the key so it doesn't fly out uh, when I'm pulling the plug out because that would be a huge pain and I don't want to look for that because it's even smaller than regular pins and the spring is even tinier. Um, and I still haven't cleaned my floor so that would be awful and I would never find it again. Um, and I like this lock. I don't want to lose it. Uh, so pretty standard procedure with this other than the check pin. Uh, whoop, that's a spring. Um, yeah, that was that spring. Okay, nothing to worry about there. Uh, so yeah, just take the end cap off, uh, rotate 90 degrees, and insert the follower as you normally would. Whoop, that could be bad. 
and all the way in like that. So now we've got our six pins, six key pins rather. And if I cover those up and flip it around, you can see the hole for the check pin as well as the check pin itself. And it is a, uh, a driverless pin. You can't overset it, um, which is sort of nice. So it, it could be much more of a pain in the ass. And I might be evil and try and do that for a challenge lock. Uh, I may try and sort of mill a... Um, a check pin into this uh, sergeant core. Um, I don't know. It, it's it's just speculation at this point. But to continue gutting, um, I'm actually going to move these a little closer. Uh, to continue gutting, let's take out the key so the check pin will come on. There we go. Fall into our little basket thing there. And let's start dumping out the key pins. There's one. And there's two. Oh, come on, there's three. Four. Five. And finally six in the wrong slot. Now, for the driver pins, just checking that I'm still in the frame. Uh, again, standard procedure, uh, just treat it like a regular six pin. And we can just pull it all the way out like this. Uh, excuse any background noise, I'm going to try and edit some of that out. Uh, it's getting a little late, so people are home and stuff's happening. so. Whoops, come on. There's five. And let's just drop six out. And plop it there. And just for pedantics and completion's sake, let's drop out all the springs. We'll put that here and put that there as well. And let's line up if they want to cooperate line up all the springs. There's two, there's five, and there's three. And if I get those all lined up because OCD, um, if I bring this over here, you can see that that is all six key pins, all six driver pins, all six springs and the check pin and its spring, if you can see them in there. I'll just bring it a little closer because the check pin is actually, if it wants to focus, please. Hey, there we go. The check pin's actually pretty cool. Um, I, uh, I don't remember who pointed it out, but someone on Discord said it kind of looked like uh, an inhaler for asthma. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, but uh, yeah, this has been the Schlage Everest. Uh, this was a huge learning experience for me because I, uh, I did a diagnostic recently on my picking and I sort of realized that, oh, wow, my tension control sucks. So uh, picking this and learning to do it reliably has definitely taught me a lot about uh, controlling my tension and uh, being consistent with um, actually getting this thing open um, and yeah this means I'm now halfway to blue belt on r slash lock picking uh, which I'm very excited about and I just got this thing in uh, meaning my girlfriend will not kill me if I start making challenge locks because I won't be holding the parts when I'm like, dremeling them um, so that should be done soon I might do some uh, some build videos or some progress updates on that but um, that's all for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time.